All right, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be all about Season 9 Patch Notes review. We got the Survivor Pass Highlands. We got a lot of stuff to cover for the Patch Notes. A lot of positives, a lot of cool new features and changes. Some head scratchers that I'm sure you guys will agree with after you hear the notes. Now, later today, I'm going to be streaming this at twitch.tv slash C underscore dome. So be sure to come check us out live streaming the new patch, the new map, all that kind of fun stuff. And then later today, if you can't catch a stream, I'm going to upload some of the gameplay to the YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe here for more of those videos. And uh, let's jump into the patch notes. All right, so here it is. Patch notes 9.1. Now, I haven't read through this yet, so this is our first go at it. Uh, new map, Paramo. I think we all understand that. This is the new map hidden in the highlands. Uh, clouds of the highlands of South America lies Paramo, an ancient land with ancient secrets. Okay. Paramo is a 3x3 map with a dynamic world new to PUBG. This dynamic world system alters locations between matches, making every trip to Paramo a unique experience. So like the actual buildings and cities will change locations and design every time you drop in. That's pretty cool. Seasonal match. So due to our new dynamic map location system, Paramo will be provided as a seasonal match separate from the current matchmaking pool. This means that Paramo is exclusive for season nine only seasonal match will have bots disabled it will not count for your career or stats and it won't have missions enabled what paramo map is a three by three one of the smallest maps they've ever created Karakin's a two by two it's 64 players only tpp squads only no red zones thank god the blue zone shrinks slowly, but deals more damage compared to other maps, even in the early phases of the match. The new motorcycle, the dirt bike, that's the only vehicle that can be found on Paramo and can usually be found near small villages. The new dirt bike is a single seater only, and this is squads only. Okay. Head scratch number one of the day. Paramo new features, dynamic map locations. This is a fun feature. This sounds cool. Major landmarks and parts of the terrain are relocated in every new session. Players must adapt and use suitable strategies and tactics according to the changes. We got, we got to see how that plays out in game, obviously, but that just sounds cool. Like it's a small map, which kind of stinks, but the locations and layout changes, which kind of freshens it up a little bit. So that's cool. Uh, then we have active lava flows. So several streams. Oh, sorry for moving the screen. Several streams of lava flow from the active volcanoes throughout Paramo presenting a unique environment hazard. Okay. Uh, stepping foot in the lava can lead to a quick death, dealing 10 damage per second to players ticking every half second. Oh man. Riding a motorcycle into lava will destroy your tires. Yeah. And quickly begin to destroy the vehicle while also dealing damage to the player. Oh, okay. Okay. So I, I wish your character would just like burst into flames whenever he touched lava. Uh, but I guess that, that's, that's an okay balance. And you also take damage while in the vehicle. So you can't just like camp in a vehicle in the lava. I wonder how that works in the BRDM. That'd be fun to see. Uh, oh, this looks cool. Unlike other maps, players can wander outside the bounds of the playable area and a warning will display on screen. Failure to quickly return to the playable area will result in you being killed. Okay, so that's not like the blue zone. That's like a, you go out of bounds, you're a dead zone. Okay. Uh, th these are in some new boxes. New item boxes can now spawn in certain houses. Destroy the boxes to find multiple pieces of loot, such as ammo, throwables, and healing items. These were red in the teaser image that the PUBG dev tweeted out. So I guess they changed it to blue. So they're just like little loot crates that you can destroy and get ammo, throwables, and healing. Uh, that's cool. Uh, this is the Ch the new Chinook helicopter. It flies around the map. This is what you drop into on the map. And apparently it carries a big loot package, kind of like the loot truck on uh, Sandhawk. And you can shoot this guy down uh, to drop the package or it will eventually drop it off by itself. Um, and you have to go, you know, go obviously find it. So that's pretty cool. A ghillie suit. And then this is pretty dope looking. Paramo has a handful of care packages exclusive a, a care package exclusive Highland themed items not found on other maps, including new full body camo suits, ghillie suit and backpack. Interesting. 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 Okay. That's just like a level three backpack. It looks like with the critical response kit in your, Oh, you'll be able to revive your down squad member. In just one second. No, 
man i really wanted this to be the new revive system to bring back a dead a dead teammate but it's not this is uh the item that's been in the game for forever um like available in custom games if you have this item in your inventory when you go to revive your teammate it revives them in one second instead of like whatever it is like eight seconds or something which i mean that that's really cool that's that's very good it's a very good item but man it's not it's not a bring back a dead player that sucks uh we got a little bit of call of duty going on in paramo you might find a secret room key while looting it's got to unlock something right yeah this is a little uh bunker a loot bunker that they have but you got to get a key first this time which i think is a great balance because this is not like a mad dash to the bunker and then everyone dies there this is like kind of rng you got to find the key then be able to make it to the bunker to get whatever's inside i don't think anyone's been in there yet i'm really curious to see what's in there ranked mode solo is now open so season nine begins well not today because it's a test server but next week on the 21st when it comes to pc season nine officially will begin a new ranks okay yeah. player ranks have been reset of course players will be given their initial rank after five placement matches rp has been soft reset so your initial season nine placement will be influenced by your season eight rank leaderboards have been reset okay rank game mode okay rank solo solo matches have been introduced to ranked mode these matches will have the same competitive qualities as rank squad matches good so 64 players no red zone more loot thrown the super settings and it's Erangel, Miramar, Vikendi, and Sanhok only. Okay, okay. Uh, ranked leaderboard changes. Europe is TPP solo and squads. Okay. North America, FEP solo and squad. All right. Ensure sufficient. Okay, okay. Uh, ranked mode rule set updates. Algorithm update. Points earned by kill and assist have been increased by 50%. Whoa, okay. Sanhok blue zone adjustment. Oh, they're changing phase two. They're increasing the size and waiting time of phase two in ranked mode for Sandhawk only. I'm not interested in that, but okay. Uh, they've increased AR and DMR magazine spawns, increased four, six, and eight X's, increased cannon sights, decreased two and three X's, decreased handguns. Okay, okay, these are all good. Uh, hard spawns on Sandhawk, awesome. And MG3 to care about. Okay, cool. Those are all good changes. Oh, this is a big one. Regional matchmaking changes. So because they added solo ranked, they're going to have to to change some of the rank queue or some of the queues in general uh, so that the matchmaking lobbies are still healthy. So let's take a look. So North America, we have random map selection still. TPP solo and squad only. So no more duos for TPP. FPP still has solo, duo, squad, solo ranked and squad ranked. Wow. Okay. Uh, EU has solo squad and squad ranked for TPP and then FPP it has solo duo squad solo ranked and squad ranked but no more map selection they have random map selection now uh, OC is random map solo squad ranked squad FPP is squad only SEA is solo duo squad solo rank squad ranked for TPP and then FPP is squad solo ranked and squad ranked okay oh weapon balance update here we go say goodbye to the barrel and the slr all right with this update the barrel sees a nerf base damage reduction from 46 to 44 increase vertical recoil by of early spray by five percent increase horizontal by five percent increase the minimum horizontal recoils they reverted player unknowns battlegrounds Oh, bar barrel grounds. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Reverted player unknowns battlegrounds. All right, guys. I see you. Um, so this is still three more damage than the M4. The M4 does what? 41 damage? Or is it 40 or 41 damage? So this is probably still going to be the, the gun to get, but we'll see. SLR has been reduced by from 58 to 56. Recoil during ADS by 5%. Increase loss of bullet velocity by 15 percent whoa that's going to be a noticeable change that's going to be a noticeable change in the slr okay all right moving on g coin g coin has been introduced to PUBG. uh it's actually been in like PUBG console for a while this used to be how you bought things in game you had to buy g coin and then like use it to buy stuff into the game 
Uh, G coin will function as the new currency for PUBG purchases. All right. That's the new dirt bike. That's cool looking. Uh, Survivor Pass at Highlands loads. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So uh, they reduced the time that the Survivor Pass is available to two months, but it's also half the level. So instead of 100 levels, it's only 50 levels to get all the rewards. Survivor Pass Highlands will be available for 990 G coin or $10. Wait, so it's the same amount of money? It's still $10, but it's half the stuff? You can earn a thousand G coin through collection of reward. Oh, whoa. Okay. So it's still $10 for the survivor pass, but if you complete all 50 levels, you'll earn a uh, thousand G coin, which is essentially the equivalent of $10. So you basically get the survivor pass for free when you complete all 50 levels and you'll have that G coin available to spend on other PUBG items like the next season pass uh, or or any in-game items that's actually a really cool idea okay i like that okay some new skins these look pretty dope so we got some uh big onesies going on uh baseball outfits oh a new streamer skin streamer thomas set uh three individual items releases on october 21st nice nice okay oh bug fixes no Fix the issue where players could cancel the reload animation of the M249 to reduce the reload time. I made a whole video on this because it's a, such a good little bug. They fixed it. That sucks. All right, guys, that's a wrap for the PUBG Season 9 patch notes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more PUBG videos. And again, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch right now. Like as you're watching this video, come check me out. Twitch.tv slash C underscore dome. I'll give you my uh, live thoughts and impressions on the map. We'll see if we can't find that hidden key and what the hell it unlocks. And then later tonight, I'll upload some of that gameplay to YouTube. So subscribe for more of those videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.